what's your role here at Kajil? I'm workshop supervisor. And being workshop supervisor, you get involved in what comes on and off of the machines, I assume? Oh, definitely, yes. So these Dugard machines, you've got a 1350E and a 1000E. Tell me what your opinion is of these machines here and what, what the E stands for. Well, the E, I, I believe, stands for Eco, but I wouldn't put them down as being Eco machines. You get so much for your money. Uh, we very rarely have any breakdowns with them. If we, we don't have any breakdowns with them. Uh, we've also got old machines here that are 15 years old that are still reliable and we use routinely. So the, the Eco, you say um, they don't seem like Eco machines. Why is that? I mean, this one's cutting in anger behind us here, but it, what stands out for you? What do they do that makes you think they're more than an economical purchase? We Recently we've been able to increase our depth of cut uh, experimenting and we've been absolutely amazed at how we've been able to speed things up with depth of cut. With an economical costing machine, you wouldn't think you'd get that. We've started taking one and a half, two mil cuts and running them at eight to 10,000 feed, which I think for an economical machine, it doesn't seem to match up really. Is that what you're doing here in the background? No, it'd be a lot louder. <laughs> okay, no, that's fair enough. Now the 1350, that, that's a, a bigger working envelope machine than the thousand, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, the bed, obviously, it's 1350, but you've also got clamping area on the side as well. So you, we, we have stretched and hung jobs over the edges of that 1350 quite far over, about another 100 mil either side. Because it's a very, really competitive market, the vertical machine in centre market. Dugard have got uh, five machines here in your company? Six, six machines, yeah. And, and the two we're specifically looking at here, the 1000E and the 1350, one of them's got a fourth axis unit on it as well, I believe. That's right, we've got a nick and fourth axis on the, on the 1000 FANUC. And what, what I find interesting too is one's a FANUC driven control and one's a Siemens, so you, you can, it's good in some ways because you can basically take any, any program if anyone gives it to you and run it through either machine if it seems or FANUC. Flexibility. That's right, yeah, we've also got Heidenheim control and an old Achromatic control in the building. Um, we seem to be moving towards Siemens uh, for no particular reason apart from they are quite common and, and very easy to use and they've got the shop mill facility which for writing uh, tapping programs it, it makes life really very straightforward. I want to come back to what you're machining here because this is cutting in anger behind us, you're, you're moving a bit of material here. Yeah. What, what do you generally do as a subcontract company on these machines? What materials, what size are parts? The, uh, the object we're cutting at the minute is a block of mild steel. We're going to be cutting for a weld fixture. Um, that's for a customer of ours. They do a lot of uh, pressings uh, for automotive. They've got a very large press shop in Coventry, which is only about 10 miles away from us. We also cut model board for pattern equipment, so Uriel block, uh, pattern equipment, inspection fixtures. We've made carbon fiber layup tools in the past. Uh, bonding pieces on top of each other to be the size of a car. Um, a lot of people cut that out of clay, but we, we find model board works really well. Uh, with the pattern equipment, we'll then have that sent off to, found, to a foundry, either cast iron or alley, um, and uh, have those castings brought back to us, machine the castings and the fixtures for the castings as well. And um, what's the tightest tolerances you might be working to? <laughs> We have in the past worked down to plus or minus 0 0.01 on hole diameters, which uh, can be very interesting. Dugard is a supplier for you here, Harry. They, they, they do what you need. Oh, definitely more than yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have had other, we have looked at other machines, uh, and eventually made the decision again and again to buy Dugard because this E range is one of their their uh, newer machines. So it's interesting to come into the field and see, it, see a user. You've got the XP as well, which we've looked at. So it gives, gives us a good flavour yeah. for our viewers as to what they, can, of what they can expect from, the, from yeah. what they call an economical machine. But obviously you, you find I it mean, delivers more than that. The Fanuc and this uh, Siemens here, uh, they're, e, they're E ranges, but they've still got 12,000 RPM spindles. So you can run a one millimetre ball nose cutter, 12,000 RPM. You know, what more do you need, really? Good way to finish. Thanks, Harry. Pleasure. Thank you.